The chain link reserve and payment abstraction system are very closely tied together in that the chain link reserve is now able to go live because the payment abstraction system has reached a certain threshold of capability where it can convert both the on-chain revenue paid in various tokens such as stable coins, native gas tokens, and other tokens for chain link services, as well as now being able to convert the off-chain revenue that's paid for the adoption of Chainlink and the implementation of Chainlink in the terms of integration, implementation services, support and maintenance for various enterprises. The payment abstraction layer converts all of these different sources of revenue into Link. That Link is then in part put into the Chainlink reserve as well as being used for various key operations to make the network operate and function correctly. The Chainlink Reserve is a new program that we're now uh, putting out because we think the time has come both from the point of view of an increase in the amount of institutional and enterprise revenue that is both going to be on the Chainlink system and is already arriving on the Chainlink system now. And we think there should be a mechanism for both the on-chain revenue as well as the off-chain revenue to be properly converted into Link and placed back into the system.